How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be doing um, something a little bit different. It's going to be a review and a how-to in one. Um, many of you I'm sure have got fish tanks in cabinets with a hood on the top. Not really suitable to have um, pre-built lighting systems um, in there due to lack of space, uh, being able to get into your tank to clean etc. Um, so I'm sure like me you've got um, T8 tubes lighting up your tank. Um, well T8 tubes aren't very efficient um, and don't really benefit the plants extremely well as they don't penetrate to the bottom of the tank very well which limits what plants you can have in your tank. Um, this system which I'm setting up is the T5 system. Um, it's got very high output. Um, the tubes themselves are the aquatics high output, ultra high output tubes. Um, these are 39 watt, um, about three foot long. Um, if I'll show you there. You can see it. They're specially formulated to enhance the blue and the red, peak, uh, red peaks, closely representing natural daylight, ideal for photosynthesis. With a slight tint of pink, the natural colours of your fish will be enhanced along with a perfect amount of green in the spectrum to enhance the natural colours in your freshwater tank. Ideal for the growth of higher light dependent plants, the bulb gives the appearance of a warm tropical tank. The reason why I've gone for T5 is that it will penetrate to the bottom, um, allowing me to grow some quite hard um, carpet plants um, which I've never tried in the past um, but along with the high output T5 tubes you need to have the ballast to go with it um, I'm sure a lot of you like me use the um, T8 ballast that's got a starter um, screwed into it um, and your lights will flicker for a bit and then they'll come on <coughs> well with this T5 system the lights will come on instantly there's no starter to mess about with, it's just the ballast. Um, they connect up differently to the T8 tubes. Um, this is the ballast here. Um, this is the Aquatics T5 electronic ballast. It's rated from 24 to 39 watt, and it's the double ballast, which means that I can run two tubes off of this, which is ideal for what I wanted. The diagram here easily shows how to wire it up. You've got lamp two, lamp one there. Um, I've, I've wired this up ready so, so that I can cut down on video time, um, but it's very simple. You have to use a solid core cable with these ballasts. So what I've done is I stripped some old um, lighting cable I had for the solid core cable connected it into the live neutral nerf here go into a chock block and then I've got my plug cable on the end of that on the other end you've got the seven ports for the lamps now slots one and two go to one side of the lamp on lamp one slot six and seven go to the same side of the lamp on lamp two and then you've got three, four and five in the middle. Now these go to the opposite side on both lamps. You've got three and five, which one cable from each of the lamps go into. And then you've got number four, which they share. I'm gonna try and show you a little bit easier here. So I've got two cables here. So for instance, if we say this is the right side of each of the two tubes. So you've got two cables here, two cables here. So that slots one, two, six, and seven, which are the right side of both lamps. In the middle, you've got three, four, and five. These are the left side of both lamps. So one cable from each goes in three and five, and then on cable four, they share. Very, very simple to wire up. From Aquatics, I got the ballast, the tubes, and reflectors. 
but I bought these separately. These are the T5 end caps, um, which I, I bought elsewhere. Um, you can get everything else you want from Aquatics, um, but they don't sell the end caps. Um, I believe they've got plans to sell them in the future, but they don't sell them at the moment. Um, these are rated for IP67, which means they are dustproof and waterproof up to a metre deep. So if you dropped your tube with your end cap on into the water, they, it shouldn't short out. I'm not going to try that, um, but that's what they're rated for. Um, I've colour coded everything so I know these two go together and these two go together. Um, with the centre ones, because it doesn't have um, the starter in this, it uses something called preheat start, which means that your two um, lamp ends which go into the centre need to be no more than about a metre long. Um, so I've got two short which are a metre long and the other two are actually two metres long. Um, so I say it's very very simple uh, to set up. I'm probably explaining it in quite a difficult way um, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, it's easy when you know how but it's, uh, I find it quite hard to explain. Um, there are lots of diagrams um, around which help you to wire this up. On the Aquatics website itself you can view online the wiring diagram. You get a copy of the wiring diagram sent with the ballast uh, which tells you how to wire it up. You just need to remember that, you, that from the ballast you have to have a solid core cable uh, which is obviously why I've run it into a chock block because the cables in these lamp ends are twisted um, so this allows me to connect it all up and the same with the other end um, the cable I'm using is a twisted cable so I've used the solid core coming from that into a chock block and then I can connect my twisted cable into it um, Aquatics do sell the power cable um, and they do sell um, solid core cable um, I just went the uh, cheaper option and just uh, made my own up okay let's go on to the tubes themselves I bought these reflectors to go onto the tubes. Um, the tubes are 16 millimeters in diameter, um, whereas the T8s were bigger. Um, I can't remember what size they were, but they were a lot thicker than this. Um, so let me show you with this one. So it's, it's a much thinner tube, um, so it's not going to take as much space up under your canopy, but you're getting greater power um, from these tubes than you are the uh, T8s. Aquatics do a special deal with the tubes. Um, it's buy two, get one free. So if you buy two of the tubes from them, you get a third one free. Um, all my tubes are the same because I, I've, I've got a planted tank. Uh, I've just got the tropical tubes, but if you've got reef, you can get um, whites and blues um, and you can mix and match whatever you like. Um, I've just got three tropical. The reflectors, um, which are also from Aquatics, are very, very well made. I'm very impressed with the uh, reflectors. Um, it's like a, a, an aluminium casing. You can remove the protective cover as you can see there. You get two clips which go onto the end of the reflectors to hold your tube in place which allows you to twist your reflector to angle it and aim it to a certain area of your tank. Um, one you might want aimed towards the front, one towards the back. Um, one thing with this ballast is this is a double ballast so you always have to use two tubes. You can't just run it with one um, so if a tube goes you need to replace the tube which is a bonus thing with getting three tubes for the price of two you've always got that spare one um, the reflectors themselves you can get some t5 clips which then go 
on the end of your tubes to fix to your canopy. Um, you can also take out the foil. You could drill a hole through the backing and screw the reflector itself to the top of the canopy. Um, and then you can obviously clip your uh, your T5 tubes in, put your end caps on. Um, it's up to you. Um, the ballasts themselves are not waterproof, so you can't have this under your canopy. Um, you need to put this inside your cabinet, uh, bearing in mind that it does get hot, um, so you really don't want it too close to um, other things you've got in there. You need to give it some breathing space. Um, I've got the perfect place to put this in my canopy. Um, I'm going to show you it all installed um, on my tank and then I'm going to show you a before and after. Um, I recorded a little um, a video last night of my tank with the current T8 lighting that's in there and then I'll record one um, with this all installed with the T5 in there so you can see the difference um, and I'm sure you're going to be very impressed. Um, I'm going to put the prices of all this stuff in the comments um, and I'll link you to each of the products um, in case you're interested in buying them. Okay it's all set up now. I've had to do a little bit of a modification. Um, I wanted to make sure that the lights covered the whole top of the tank so I put some wood extensions on here and here and I've actually screwed the reflector to the wood. Um, front and back so I've got my both tubes on there the starter is down in this cabinet you can see the starter there all the cables are, are fairly tidy I'll show you around the back so the cables come down both sides Let's try and lift this up to show you underneath without blinding everybody. There you go. You can see the light there. I'm really impressed with the, uh, the colour. Um, at first I thought it was going to be a little bit too pink. Um, because I'm used to quite dull T8 bulbs in there um, these new ones have certainly brightened it up and they have really really brought the colour out on the plants um, I'm extremely impressed um, and the good thing is they had their seal of approval um, my wife came home from work she looked at the tank she said that it looks beautiful so who am I to argue um, as look, if, if the wife's happy then uh, I'm obviously doing something right so there you go